Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another figure comparison. Today we're doing a figure comparison between some Playmates Kong figures, specifically the Kong Skull Island variety, with Kong Skull Island, the 6-inch version, original, and the reissue. And I know what you're thinking. Matthew, didn't you already do a video like this a few years back? Well, yes. Yes, I did. It was my review slash comparison of this guy. However, I feel like with that video being a lot shorter and plus more focused on trying to be both a review and a comparison between this guy and this guy, I didn't really have a lot of the way of actually pointing out all the little intricate details, which is what we're going to be doing today. Another reason why I also want to talk about it is because I also want to also bring in this guy. Um, I'll actually put him behind if there's enough room. Yeah, there's a bit of enough room. The 11 inch Giant Kong. Now, I actually, because I, know, I am aware that there's a reissue of this guy as well as a, there's him, I actually did come across the reissue of this guy in person once at a collectible store. However, I neglected to pick it up because I just thought, you know, I already own this, why do I need another? And plus, at that point, it's already taken enough space, so there's really no point in me having that. Plus, you know, this was a gift, so thank you. Um, so, we're also going to be dropping in this guy in, but he's not going to be the center, center focus. These two are going to be the center focus. So, um, we're going to do pretty much another um, multi-category thing. You know how it's done. It's not a versus, it's just a general figure comparison to see what the general differences are. And I'll be giving my personal input as to which one I think is overall executed better. Featuring sculpt and paint, articulation, size, accessories, price, availability, and packaging. Even though a lot of those are pretty much the same or identical across all boards, there is some differences between the two. So, without further ado, let's go in. Starting with the heads on both figures, and um, I can automatically tell you that uh, there is some pretty obvious differences. The overall sculpt is pretty much the exact same. They feature the same ears, the same facial expressions, the same very cool looking jawline. Uh, this guy's been... Moggin, as the kids have been saying nowadays. Trust me, I've been seeing it all over my TikTok, YouTube shorts, and Instagram reels like crazy. And uh, the overall paint is really where it's different. However, we're going to talk about the eyes. The eyes on the original, well, actually both of them, feature like an orange. However, the application itself is kind of mismatched between the two. On this one, mine's a teensy bit off on both of them but it's nothing like over jarring this one has its pupil all the way to the right which i have to say <laughs> does not look good whatsoever it honestly just looks it, it looks weird seeing like the pupil or the eyeball onto one side and you can see where the sculpt of the eyeball is and speaking of the color the uh eyeball is actually different colors on both figures. How? Because all that's painted on the eyeball is literally just the orange. That's it. The little circle that makes up the eyeball is actually just the base color of the skin, which is actually a little different because here it's darker, here it's lighter, which is kind of an opposite effect with the fur. Because you're going to notice like a very recurring theme is that for the skin, they chose to lighten it up well actually lighten it up on here and darken it up here versus the fur where it's lighter here darker here so that's a bit of a difference when it comes to the overall mold however another thing i also like to point out is the little schmutz that came with my kong right out of the box maybe it's because it's open box and like maybe some kid was just like ha like hammering this thing like across the board or something on the Walmart shelf or whatever. And like again, I got this guy used, so he's probably a little bit um worn now, but there's a teeny tiny little paint rub right where the tip of my finger is. It's hard to see on camera, even zoomed in. And just to talk about the giant Kong, it kind of does a similar thing with obviously in line with the six-inch original uh version, where it has a dark spray, lighter paint fur. I'm um, kind of noticing there's some spray on the fur here, but it has the open mouth and a bit of a more angrier, kind of ticked off expression with 
uh, kind of black pupils as opposed to the base color, probably because people will actually be noticing it versus on the smaller one where, you, you know, you won't really notice it until you point it out. And the teeth are molded pretty decently. I've got a tiny little nick where it's like painted. And my real only gripe is that the bottom teeth are just kind of smushed, almost like he pushed his tongue too hard, and then all of his bottom teeth are now pointing straight forward. But aside from that, it looks fine, especially head on. Next, let's talk about the chest, which again, um, kind of similar to the face. It's darker here and lighter here. However, something that I kind of find a little interesting is the way that the scar is painted. It's so hard to see, unless I'm going nuts. But this is actually pointing a little upward more so than this one. This is like a little... The best way I can describe it is that this is 1 o'clock on the clock arm. This is 2 o'clock. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, that's as best as I can describe it. The highlights are uh, done very identically, but it's definitely not the same. Especially, like, down here where we have a bit more of darker color scheme here. Even though mine's got, like, a bit of a nick going down towards the belly button. Uh, which is not defined on either one, really. But, again, that's just kind of more uh, where it's at. And to bring in the giant one again, we have more of, like, the spray kind of going across. Almost like a kind of like a plus sign because we have it down here then we have it like right at the breasts there and then we have it like even more so than the reissue con because like look at that and then look at that so at that point we're like not even at three o'clock we're like eh, i guess i guess that's more like one o'clock one and a half and then this is two o'clock so there you go that's um that's two o'clock on the uh on the dollar essentially but again, we got some nice coloring there, and it, honestly, in my opinion, it, it might just be because it's the biggest, but this honestly looks the best, even though mine's got a little bit of nick right to the right. And lastly, we're going to pretty much be talking about the arms and the legs, well, more specifically, the hands and the feet, because essentially that is the uh, ma last main difference with the sculpt and paint, because again, across both figures, the sculpt is essentially the same. As you can see here, we have a bit of a darker spray for the palms and like the finger area of the original, plus a bit more of the like the darker color of the, um, the toes. And it's a bit more on the tips. It's not exactly on the entire fist versus on the gray here with the fists of the uh, reissue and even like on the lower feet, which again looks really good. And I have to give Playmates credit to where it's due. Personally, I prefer the look of this one a bit more than this one because it's a bit more widespread and it's not just on a tiny part of the figure. It's kind of more on, on the entirety of the feet. And even like going down here, I mean, you can kind of see which one's black, which one's gray. So again, looks the part and honestly looks great. And finally, let's talk about the Giant Kong's arms and legs. So again, more specifically, the hands and the feet. The hands and the feet kind of do what I wanted to see from this guy. Although I guess kind of not in this scale because now it just looks like he's wearing big black latex gloves and little like pads on his feet. And it honestly, again, just looks a little odd, especially like how dark it is compared to like, say, the spray on his body because the gray is not as, well, it's just gray. This is like solid black. Like, again, it just looks like gloves. So, if the color was a bit lighter, just a teensy bit, not like jet black, I feel like this would have been the perfect pan application for Kong. So, overall, this pretty much wraps up the skeleton paint section because that's essentially it. Uh, pretty much where there's paint, it's all different, but where there's sculpt, it's all different. So, nothing's different. That being said, I feel like my personal favorite would honestly have to be the giant version because it has a lot of the things uh, that I like. And even though all three are different shades of the fur, because that one's a bit more red, this one's a bit more brown, this one's a bit more dark brown, I kind of like this one because it just looks the most movie accurate to me, it being like a very vibrant color, as opposed to it being a bit more dulled up with these two. But if I had to pick between these two, 
I would honestly have to say if this Kong had his uh, head pattern on it, well, the the coloring on the head and then the body kind of remained, then that would be like the definitive one. So really, it's, I guess, him technically? But whatever. That's my personal input.